Hey, today we're going to talk about uh, how you can generate JSON formatted um, content from Excel. Now there's several ways you might do this. Let's look at some options that we might have. Um, first of all, if uh, you could always write a Python program that would either read a CSV file or an Excel file. There's libraries that will read Excel files. I've got some videos on that that you can watch. And uh, you certainly could just go through the data, get it into Python, and Python has some JSON libraries and convert it that way. There's some online options that would take a CSV file and turn it into JSON, so those may be uh, good options for you. Um, but you could just use Excel if you just need a bunch of data, uh, specifically uh, 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 key value pairs uh, formatted for JSON. And we're going to show you how to do that really quick. So here's the steps. Uh, we're going to copy the data in question to a new sheet. That's just so we don't clutter up our original sheet. We'll add a column for the JSON that we're going to generate. And then we'll add an, a formula at the top a cell using the concat function and then we'll copy down that formula we looked at doing that before but we'll show that again and then you can copy and paste the generated JSON to wherever you'd like so that's what we're gonna do so let's go ahead and jump into this let's look at our spreadsheet here um, I'm gonna delete this sheet because this is one that I've already done this on so let's do this Okay, so again, let's let's um, let's delete this sheet, and then let's. Um, this is our Airbnb data we were using in the in a previous example, but um, let's say that we wanted to have JSON generated for these two. So this was the key, and this was our value. So let's just copy these as we said in our steps. We'll copy these to another sheet. So I'll just create another sheet here and copy these in. Okay, so there we have the data. We'll make this a little bit wider just so we can uh, see it. And then we'll add a column. And I'm just going to name this JSON. You, this is just a temporary column that you're going to use. Now we need to create a formula. Because if we can uh, create a formula, we can copy that formula down. And remember, this has... Um, this has over 300,000 rows, so if you needed a JSON request that was that big or JSON data for some reason like that. Uh, also, you could obviously filter uh, once you have the filter uh, or the formula created. So um, here's how we do it. Uh, to create a formula in Excel, you go to this top cell, hit the equal sign, and then we are going to use the concat function. Now, concat just takes one string and adds it on to the end of another. So we need to know what the first string is. Well, to format JSON, you usually need the values in double quotes. And we can't just put a double quote in here. We have to actually do this in Excel. We have to say char parenthesis 34. What that is is the ASCII character for a double quote. So this little char function takes that number and converts it to a double quote. And then to append something to the end of that double quote, which is going to be this value you see in row 2, 183319, we say comma. And then we just want to concatenate whatever's in that column uh, and that cell. So we'll click on that. That'll, that'll put in A2, the reference. Then we'll hit comma again. And then we want a closing double quote. So we're going to have to do the same thing, char34. Ch and then we will uh, want a colon like this. And you can put that inside of double quotes. And then we're back to char. You'll notice we're just putting commas in between all the things that we want to um, concatenate together. And the next thing we want is the, the next uh, cell. So B2 and then uh, comma char34. And then we're going to have multiple values, so we need to separate those with commas in JSON syntax. So that's a char44. And then finally, the closing parenthesis for the function. And then 
you'll see the value then that's been generated. Pretty cool. We now have a syntactically correct uh, key value item for JSON. So uh, you can see it grabs whatever values in this first one, puts the double quotes around it, puts a colon, and then double quotes around the next value in the next uh, column, and then it ends with a comma. And again, to copy down, we want that filled in uh, plus sign right here, or cross, and we just hover over and we double click on it, double left mouse click, and sure enough, it goes through and generates all of this for us. And now we could just copy all of this, or part of it, so let's just copy some of it, just to show you. So um, I'm just going to copy and paste this into uh, Notepad++. So if this was our JSON, we just copy that in, and uh, that's syntactically correct JSON, and we can go ahead and do, use, use that any way that we want to. So quick and easy way to do JSON. Obviously, there's other ways that you could do it, but if you're in Excel and you just need to generate some JSON pretty quickly, you, especially key value pairs, uh, this will work really well. So I uh, hope this is useful for you. hope uh, it's beneficial. Uh, next time we'll talk about converting from JSON back into uh, Excel columns. So we'll do that uh, next video. Thanks.